Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of uh, Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Dick Explosive One. Jonas, you're the man on the stage. I'm so sticky, it's not even funny. Oh my gosh. And uh, we are playing Madden, but you're going to be playing something different here in a second. Are we? Yeah. If what are we playing? If you're a sticky boy. Oh, yeah. They were going to be playing, like, get out, get out the glue. No, we're going to be playing Get Out the Wet Wipes. Mm. I mean, but if you want to get stickier, we can. I mean, I don't like. Get stickier. No, <laughs> I don't like where this is going, actually. I don't either. I don't consent to the sticky conversation. <laughs> you further. started the nah, sticky conversation. Nah, dude, convers I just said I was sticky because I had the well, sticks. Dude. Why would you tell me that? Do you go around telling all your friends that you're sticky? Uh, only my close ones. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Where? Well, I don't want to be your close friend if you're just going to be telling me about... If, if being close to you means that you talk about how sticky you are, count me out. 3 a.m. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I thought you were calling the liquor locker. Yeah, it's me. Um, um, I'm pretty sticky right now. Uh, TNT, I just wanted to let you know I'm kind of sticky at the moment. Thank you. I was sleeping. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, I like these Oilers yeah, uh, dude, jerseys. I oiled it up for you, dude. Don't tell me what you did for me. <laughs> when it involves oil. Don't tell me that. Uh, dude, don't turn around, okay? Or you're gonna see oh, my Oh, this guy intercepted. Dude, game. I'm not good. That was Ace of Base you were just singing right there. Was I? Classic. Don't what turn around. Don't turn around. Oh, yeah, 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 dude. She also Wait, did. Hold uh, on. Wait. I saw they, the sign. They just scored, and then all of a sudden they scored again. I didn't even get the ball. Uh, yeah, you suck. I'm down by 14 points in two seconds. Yeah, man. You know, stranger things have happened. Uh, yes. Like, um, I had coitus with a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, I agree. <laughs> that is very strange that that has occurred. Oh yeah, dude. Cause uh, you know, you ain't you ain't no Lenny Kravitz. Oh, dude, I always wanted to be. You know, Lenny Kravitz is like fifty six years old and has a six pack. Lenny Kravitz is a fine looking fifty six year old. Yo, <laughs> I ain't gay or nothing, but Lenny Kravitz is hot. Uh, he has a look, man. For a dude. I could see him like uh, showing up with like without a shirt on, just being like, "Hey, you guys need me to fix your motor?" <laughs> what? No, Lenny Kravitz is never fixing my motor. All right. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> to tune up your motor. I don't know what you, I don't even know what that means, but I don't want it done. You're like, you know what? Good. I'm so glad that the game delayed and it caused me to tap the button twice. There's certain things that a dude could ask me to do, and I would just disagree. Fix my motor. Check my oil. Uh, plug, plug your tub. Yeah, I don't want you to get the clog out. <laughs> I wanna... You seem backed up. Would you like to talk about your... <laughs> I don't want anybody checking my pipes, checking my oil. What if you did it very gently? Cleaning my pipes. No dude's ever cleaning my pipes, all right? What if you have a Nobody's really clogged pipe? Nobody's cleaning my pipes. Nobody. I think that you're underestimating the pleasure that comes from a pipe clean. I'll clean my own pipes, thank that? you. I don't think you can do that. You'd be surprised, Jonas. They sell things for that. Oh, do they? Liquid Drano. Pipe pipe cleaning palpitations? Uh, yeah, there's liquid. Oh, look at this. He just, like, jumped and did the swan dive. He's swaggering now. Liquid plumber, I guess. You know, I always wondered why they called it liquid plumber. Because it's liquid and it plums your pipes. No, dude, you can't put that inside you. You don't put it in your pipes. You put it in your pipes, like of your tub or your lid or something. Or something, or something. Oh, it's that kind of pipe cleaner. I don't know what you're talking about. Have you ever tried about. to use a real cl pipe cleaner before? What do you? What is that? What kind of question? Do you know I have. You you are aware of me using pipe cleaners. Yeah, dude, to clean an actual like pipe that you smoke tobacco out of with filters. Oh Jesus! You mean to actually clean like a like a copper tubing pipe? No, I've never cleaned any pipes, but I've used pipe cleaners before, usually to do arts and crafts. Oh, what do you make? 
Uh, you know, I was speaking of arts and crafts. All right. <laughs> subject change. <laughs> it's not really a subject change, but I just can't remember what I made out of pipe cleaners. It was like centuries oh, ago. Oh, he got tackled in the cold because I was being an a hole. I think we made like uh, maybe like gingerbread men or s- or snowflakes or something for Christmas. Oh. But I remember a time where I knew how to make a origami uh, swan. Oh yeah. Or a crane. What is it? An origami crane. Uh, go with whatever makes you feel comfortable because it's your creation it is not my creation (laughs) it's it's the canonical idea it's like when you think origami you think of somebody making a paper crane i guess that's true i had a guy show me how to make a ring out of a dollar bill and we would and we uh, went to the strip club, and he was handing them out to the lady dancers. Oh, he because he wanted to like be cool and be like, "Hey, you want a dollar? Here's a ring." And lady. he was not cool. It at didn't all. work. It they didn't did care. They were know. like, "Can can I just have one that isn't in the shape of a ring?" I know. If it was a twenty, then it'd be like, "All right, uh, hundy, hun, hun. That would be okay. But a dollar, get lost, loser. Yeah, dude. They're, like they're like, "What is your effing problem, gross man?" So there, there is some. Uh, some ladies club, gentlemen's club, I should say. <laughs> gentlemen's club etiquette. Mm-hmm. Number one rule of the gentlemen's club, don't be weird. Yeah. You can always tell when a guy walks in, it's his first time at the strip club. <laughs> gentlemen's club. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I mean, ideally they all are. You know what? You know what really grinds my gears about some gentlemen's clubs? What's that? The bathroom attendant. I like that. Actually. I don't at all. I, the more outgoing the bathroom. Okay, so a bathroom attendant at a gentleman's club because I don't even know if half our viewers are old enough to know what a gentleman's club is, and those of you who are good for you. <laughs> bathroom attendant. You go into the bathroom at a gentleman's club. You do your business, you walk over, you wash your hands. This dude will hand you paper towels, and then he'll be like, hey, I got gum, mint, I got some cologne. What yeah. Else, what else would he have? Uh, I've seen ones where they'll, like, shine your shoes. Shine <laughs> they have, your shoes. They have a little shoe shine stand in there. Sometimes they have, like, an, an extra button-down shirt. Sometimes I've seen they, them go to they that. They will stuff. have a lot of different they have little candies, like spearmint candies. Exactly. Dude, dude they, got, they got the hookup. And it's all quotation fingers free. But then they expect you to tip the bathroom attendant. Yeah, dude. So I love the bathroom attendant because I feel like it's just like, hey, if I did need anything, it's all available. Yeah. I wonder what the ladies' room in a gentleman's club looks like, though. I've never seen. It's mostly for the uh, the girls who are working now. So. Yeah, yeah, I would think so. Um, but, but, I mean, there are women in the club other than... Uh, the girl's working sometimes. Oh, yeah. Well, absolutely. Almost every time I've ever gone, there's been a female in there as a patron. Yeah, but I don't know. I figure if there's a an attendant in the female's bathroom, it's just like a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a Native American Indian holding, like, tampons. <laughs> a drug dealer. A wooden... <laughs> a drug dealer? He's <laughs> just got, like, bags of flour. He's just like, hey, ladies, would you like some oregano? <laughs> I've got oregano flour and <laughs> and little chunks of ice. I kind of like the idea of women's drugs just being like spices and seasonings. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> Can I get a few pieces of ice to take home for the road? <laughs> I need some cumin. Right. I need cumin right now. I'm super short on flour tonight, bruh. Can we just dabble in the flour pot? You know what if uh, what if we found out that like doing a line of uh flour? Yeah, no, no. I mean, yeah, or you know, anything else did get you messed up. Did not get me messed up. It did get you messed up. Oh, like if I could snort pixie sticks and get high? No, we're not snorting. Mother effer, dude, I called Okay. Yep, you effed it up, Jonas. This game is garbage. Anyways, exactly. I guess I just don't get to do my thing. Um, dude, I don't know, dude. It just depends what it did and what kind of stuff it did, man. Just, like, crush up some parsley and put it in a, a, uh, an easy wider. When you were <laughs> young, did anyone that you know ever buy fake drugs? Like, whether it was, like, whatever drug. I don't think so, man. But I mean, I could. I do. Re- 
<clears throat> I've never done drugs, Jonas. So well, no, just... I just I'd heard that you might know a person that's done one. I do seem to recall there being a time where one of my friends may have purchased what he thought was marijuana against the eyes of the Lord and the state government's <laughs> laws. Right. And karma. And what state? And karma hit that some be in the head because he had a bag of basically broccoli. Like, it was <laughs> broccoli would be bad. Like, come on, my dude. <laughs> but it was like oregano or something. Yeah. <laughs> or it was like mixed with oregano. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I have seen people do things. Whoa, well, don't be too. Uh, I know. I just don't be any, too obscure I've seen with it. People show up, and be like, "Yeah, dude, I got this dude to do to do," and I'm like, "That's not dude to do," and they're like, "Dude, dude, dude," you know. <laughs> Interpret that as you will. It was messed up. It's a good story. Yeah, dude. I try to bring the heat when we talk on these. Videos. Yeah, boy, do you? <laughs> boy, I got your heat, dude. It's in the. I got. Boy, heat. howdy. Boy, howdy, duty. <laughs> um, I've never even seen a drug. Okay, well, we all know that's a lie. It's like when you say something like that, you just know you're lying. <laughs> right. It's like when the cop was like, "Sir, have you ever done a drug?" I'm like. Is there a correct answer to that question? <laughs> if I say no, you're going to call me a liar. If I say yes, you're going to search the car. <laughs> <laughs> I've never shaved a cow before. <laughs> Wait, what? That's what I should have said. <laughs> Nobody even asked I'm you. like, I'm only high on life, officer. I don't know about you. <laughs> give, me, give me large sums of cash in this vehicle. Oh, wow. I'm like, I've never seen a large sum of cash in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm from? I'm from Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. I just Everybody in Ohio could pull their money together and it wouldn't be a large sums of cash. <laughs> it would all fit inside my car in a right? duffel bag. Everybody in Ohio pull their money together. You'd have like $952. Oh, man. I wish I had that much money. $952? I wish I had $952. Uh, I mean, you hurting that bad, fam? I got you. We were just talking about how we don't have large sums of cash. I was trying to play the joke. $952 ain't a large sum of cash. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's some money, but it ain't a large I was, uh, sum. playing off your joke. No. Don't play. It's all right, dude. Don't play off me. No. <laughs> I'll take you the playoffs. <laughs> don't you? <laughs> dude. Is... Did you see that the NBA's finals are the lowest rated finals in the history of the uh, finals uh, duh of course and it's funny because everybody's mean? at home and no one's doing ish but nobody gives an f because it's not the same people aren't buying tickets there's not as much uh Hype. pomp and circumstance over it it's it, man everything is the lowest it's ever been though so i don't understand why it's that's a big deal it's not like football has the highest ratings that it's ever had it's not like hockey is having the highest rated year it's ever had. All the sports are putting up record lows. Dude, wouldn't it be funny if the Browns won the Super Bowl this year? It would be like they would always, and that would be the only time they ever were good, and they would have that asterisk like during pandemic season. They would not have an asterisk. Dude, it would figure that if the Browns went to the went to the playoffs and won the Super Bowl, they would be like the one year they couldn't have fans in the stadium to cheer them on. <laughs> <laughs> it was all our fault to begin with. Yeah, like they're just like, oh, dude, we won, we did it, but no one got to see it in person. Every single person got to not see it. <laughs> I saw an interview with uh, Dwight Howard, who's like a famous basketball player or whatever. Yeah, he does and, basketball things. And, and somebody asked him, he was like, uh, so if a team wins a championship ring during the pandemic and he pulls that ring out at like a party or something, do you respect that? And he was like, yeah, you have to respect that, man. Guys are still out there playing just as hard, even though nobody's necessarily watching. And it like to be a player in the NBA, it's a totally different game as well for them to be playing with no yeah. fans watching because, you know, it's kind of just a part of the game. Yeah, so I, I feel like I would I would feel like everything's a scrimmage. It, and that's what it kind of feels like to them. It feels like they're in practice almost to a certain extent. Yeah, I could imagine for football players, it's super weird. Like, you have to, like, kick the game-winning field goal. There's no noise. Exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, except for the piped-in noise that they pipe in. I don't think they pipe it in the stadium. 
I think it's just over the broadcast. Really? Wow. I don't know. Like, why would they like? I thought they were playing booze. Well, that's what I don't know. I kind of figured that that was part of the game. I want booze piped in. I want the players to be like, what the hell? I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, dude. I haven't looked it up enough. I am. I'll have to say, I am watching football, but I am not very entertained by it. I mean, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Because I know you enjoy football. I know people that have watched football their whole life, and they're like, I'm not watching that trash. <laughs> why is it? Why is it trash? I don't know. <laughs> I don't like. Like, if somebody I know says something that's really out character for them, I don't really tend to ask them why because I feel like it's going to open up a rabbit hole of, like, some sort of new thing that they believe, and I don't know if I'm ready to, like, have you, that opinion of them. Are you saying that because they don't watch football, they're QAnon? <laughs> is, that Jesus. is that what you're insinuating? I didn't think that was what I was insinuating, but, I mean, anything's a possibility, I guess. <laughs> like one of your friends he stops watching football and all of a sudden he's a hebophile? Yeah, all of a sudden he's a proud boy. Whoa! <laughs> they ain't really. Never mind. You know what I was going to say? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. They're all standing by. There's no. <laughs> There's no, there's no way to really go with that one, man. <laughs> there's no way to go with that one. No, they, they. There's they nowhere to go. Though, that's for sure. No, I don't know, dude. I just don't like. I feel like, um, like if I talk to somebody that I haven't talked to in a while and they start talking crazy stuff, though, I like. I don't tend to ask why. Do you want to know why people say things? Because I just, it just, I don't, like. Dude, do I want to know? I like to get into the idea of why people do certain things that they do. Like, I like to get into that. I'm, I'm insightful on that one, but uh, not necessarily. Or I should say why people think the way they think I like. but Yeah, I, I, I like that. But I, like, I just don't want to know that you've opened up a whole new set of ideals. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't get into conspiracy theorists. Oh, me neither. But I, uh, I was talking to someone that we know that I haven't talked to in a while. And I personally shut down my Facebook before the pandemic even started because once volleyball and improv were over, I was done. He said that he has seen a lot of people that we've known a long time talking all sorts of really crazy-ish on Facebook because they're all copped up in their house. And I'm like, he's like, yeah, dude. He's like, I would never believe this person would be putting this stuff on the internet. And I'm like... Oh no! So they're cooped up in their homes, and then they're, they're <laughs> posting. They like, just go down the rabbit hole on effing whatever website, dude. Next yeah. thing you know, they're out there talking ish. Oh, yeah. Um, I ran into a flat earther one time, just uh, for frame of reference, and yeah. he be he got belligerent with me when I called him a joker. I was like, listen at this joker talking about the Earth is flat. I'm like, why? Why is why does that even make sense? Nobody gains anything out of you thinking the earth is round or flat. And he got mad. And he got mad and he raised his voice at me. And I was like, all right, fine. You're like, wow, you, it's that important to you. I'm going to walk away now. <laughs> Basically. He was like, you just need to learn. You, you need to educate yourself. I was like, okay. Bro. All right. <laughs> you were like, all right, dude. I'm, you got it. You're like, you're right. I need to educate myself. I'll see you later. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't need to know that much because if you're just an idiot, dude, you're an idiot. All right. <laughs> yep. I agree. So, uh, we won, dude. Yeah. If you didn't notice, I did. W. Good, sh good George. Stuff. Good stuff. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've done that. Uh, this Flatter. dude does Twitch sometimes. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day. There's the ladder. At 10 o'clock a.m. Central. <laughs> That's a TNT Dynamite uh, underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. For Jonas. TNT. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We are out.